Gruesome photos of the body of 17-year-old Bianca Devins being shared all over the internet. Police say her boyfriend and suspected killer, 21-year-old Brandon Clark, documented the homicide on a website called Discord. Investigators now finding the photos at different links every day. Those are the photographs that the nightmares are made out of, and um, you know, and it's it's sad that it got pushed out like that, and it's sad that somebody would do that. Oneida County District Attorney Scott McNamara says they believe Clark and Devins went to a concert in Queens the night before the murder. Police say they got into a fight there, with Devins possibly kissing another man, upsetting Clark. They now have the cell phones of both the victim and the suspect, hoping to track their locations and their conversations. The evidence on social media adding to the case by the minute, making it even more complicated. Difficult for us to really put it all together because of, like, I, you know, when were these accounts created, the names that were used for these accounts, things that he posted on these accounts. The Devins family still working with law enforcement to get the photos taken down. News Channel 9 learning from a Facebook spokesperson this afternoon as soon as the company saw Clark allegedly documenting the murder on an account labeled Yes Juliet, they erased the profile and are working to take down any other hashtags or photos associated with what happened. Social media users now joining in on a movement, instead using the hashtag to honor Devins, hoping to stop people from posting the pictures for followers. A picture will exist probably forever. Something McNamara says he's never dealt with before. Investigators seeing more than what's on the internet, but now the public is subjected to it all. Um, police deal with death and, and, you know, in terrible situations and see very gruesome things all the time. Uh, this is one time where the general public's getting to a peek into seeing this is what the police saw when they arrived. Shining light on the dark side of the web. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.